Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Sunday. Just talk to one of my friends in here. The same type of conversation, but it's like, you know. I just need to find my way in life. Need to figure out in this fucking almost middle age, you know, how can I live a better life, the life I want, you know, things like that. Figure out what I want out of life. How can I get things to be more normal, which works for me, so. But without forward review, I usually do my warm ups in here. Still doing white draw. This is black dragon. But anyway, you cannot really see it. You know, you can't see the form. So I'm just gonna like get straight to fucking pull ups without warm up. I'm sure I probably can do like 12 or 13 anyway. I just you know like to take my time. But. Uh, Let's get to the fucking pull-up business on the count. Three, one. Yeah, I did like 13, some of them were bad, my last one was not as good. <sighs> Fuck, there's Russian people in here. <sighs> one thing about California, there's a lot of my people, like different demographics from Ohio. <sighs> but I did my pull-ups. Feeling a little sore. I'm not gonna go for increase right now, but now, you know, I'm gonna celebrate my achievement with some old English brand malt liquor and some ruffles. This time I'm not drinking 40, I'm cutting down on my alcohol consumption because I don't feel like drinking. I'm still drinking malt liquor only malt liquor not a therapist this time this time is actually malt liquor also one pint 16 ounces so i guess one pint is 16 ounces so i guess this is what the therapist was i was thinking so the 12 or 16 but 16 ounces so ah. This therapist is not as delicious and it's less alcohol too and costs less too. It's like only like 250 between this and the chips it was five dollars right and that therapist was like six dollars just a drink but the drink was good you know because it was happy and nice tasting this stuff doesn't taste as good you know
you know, I'm definitely not going to Israel right now due to the fact that what's going on over there, all the problems. And I have a lot of people whom I used to go to school with who live in Israel right now. And of course, there are Zionists and pro-Israel. Me, I'm not, but I don't particularly care. Like, I'm not taking no sides. Because I didn't ask to be in this world. This world is fucked up. My life is fucked up. I already have so many problems because of this fucking stupid people like the real PewDiePie fucking therapists following me I cannot get a normal job everybody is trying to figure out what's wrong with me and how to deal with me and I just wanna do my best get the money so I can build the wall because I don't wanna deal with nobody as a result because everybody is trying to correct me and change me what not and everybody tells me anywhere you go you're gonna have problems because of the way you are and I say yeah that's true but if people not gonna know anything about me I'm gonna have less problems so that's gonna make my life easier yeah people's gonna think that I'm weird but I won't have to you know deal with the bullshit so So it's gonna be less problems already for me. And uh, that's gonna make my life better as is, even though people's gonna think that I'm weird. Which I cannot help, but less problems is better than more problems. At least I'll have my freedom. Or oh, we want you to be, be more sociable, be with people, well. I know I'm socially handicapped, so I don't care about that. If I have couple people who don't care, who can just deal with me as is, I'm cool. You know, I'm cool. But all these motherfuckers who trying to do something with me or trying to figure out shit or treat me any type of way because of whatever is wrong with me. I won't deal with none of these people. I want nothing to do with them, like, fuck them all. As you have that friend, Michael, who is not really my friend, he was always trying to correct me. Now he understands how I feel about things, so he doesn't want to talk to me. All right, well. Like, sometimes he was fun, but sometimes, you know, he was always shutting me down and not letting me talk and telling me all kinds of interesting stuff, which was cool. But then he was irritating me because he was acting stupid. I'm like, fuck this. You know? He was making me irritated. And then he was complaining about me acting out of character. And he was trying to shame me. Like shouldn't be acting this way. Like, I fucking care. Lydia did the same thing to me, too, back in 2017. That's why, you know, I guess I was hurting her, because she's, like, was doing that shit to me, too. Like, I should feel bad. Talking about some fucking moral obligations and shit. I'm like, bitch, you're not even my woman. You know? You fucking other guys, you're not paying you part of the rent. And I'm here helping you out. <laughs> what kind of moral obligation are you talking about? You're not my girlfriend and you know that. 
I'm not having sex with you, so what kind of moral obligation? You fucking roommate. And if you have problem with the way I am, you know, that's like a problem, you know. How can I be in relationship with you if you have problem with the way I am and you know, you're hiding from me, but then again, that's not really because of her. She's hiding from me, you know, because of the, the bullshit. So I can't really blame her for that. She has a point, that's why, you know, whenever she's not answering my calls, I mean, okay, I call you, you answer, thanks a lot, let's talk. If not, hey, mind your business, do your thing, you know? It's your life, but... I like my freedoms. I don't want to be in a relationship with somebody who will be fucking, you know, bullshit, moral obligation. I have no fucking moral obligation to her, period. <laughs> because she thinks that in order to have sex with me, she needs to go to psychologist because I'm so fucking weird. When you know, I can just fucking pay 20, 50 bucks for the fucking hood rat to have sex with me. Why I can deal with my woman, whom I can, you know, pay stuff, buy her shit, do things for her, and I'm gonna get that too. <laughs> Mind you, that woman who is like, you know, puts out fast and deal with the guys, you know, who just break up with her, who has problems herself. <laughs> I'm not going to psychologist for that. <laughs> Fuck. You already know what I think about this fucking therapy psychologist squeezing the ball to release anger. Like, fuck that shit. That's waste of time. It's not helping nothing. My mom tells me you need to go to fucking psychologist. I'm like, fuck that. I'm not going to nobody. Because it's not me, it's other people. They're not letting me live how I want. They're fucking pissing me off. They're telling me there's something wrong with you, you shouldn't be like that. Instead of just like letting me be. I'm not going to psychologist, fuck that. <laughs> I'm not doing it. For no reason. And I don't care that I'm almost 37 years old and I don't have normal relationship. And I have a girlfriend whom I barely see and my relationship with her is not ideal either, but I just choose to tolerate her because, you know, she's a nice person generally. And I just choose to close my eyes on certain <coughs> things I don't like about our relationship, you know. I just choose to ignore it. And plus, I like you as a person anyway, so... I don't want to do her wrong, you know, I don't want to hurt her feelings. And it's, you know, it's convenient for me too, because I don't have to deal with the bullshit and insults and shit like that, you know? But she's not talking about the norms or whatnot. She just let me be myself. I choose to pay the price for it because I don't have much choice in this fucked up existence in this fucking prison prison existence where I have to do things which I don't like against my will because I have no choice because I can't meet society's expectations and I have to be certain way and act certain way in order to get girls, in order to have jobs, etc, etc. And I just... I just don't want to deal with it, you know, I just like, fuck everything.
I'm like Charles Manson. I don't fit in, fit in in the society. And I don't even care. But people are trying to make me fit in. And it's not working. But I need to fit in in order to be with people. But now people try to make me fit in, so I avoid people. See? If I want a woman, I would rather give her money and say, hey, bitch, here. Keep your mouth shut. And you know, I'm a strong man. I can do pull-ups. I can smack the bitch, too. <laughs> like Lydia. I'm not afraid of that bitch. I'm not gonna beat her. I don't want to do anything bad to her, but... I want to keep in touch with her, but... And I think that she's changing too, I notice that, but... You know, I, I still remember things and... You know, I'm still a little upset at her. And she's been telling me that I was hurting her, but... I don't know, other men did bad things to her too. There is a reason why she couldn't keep a relationship. So it takes two to tango. So, she didn't, she was not acting decently towards me either. And why should I put up with her bullshit? Like, I have no better things to do. If I want to be in a relationship with a woman, I want to enjoy it. I don't want to deal with her fucking emotional problems. You know, thinking that, you know, I'm gonna run away from her and all of that. When she's fucking other guys fast. <laughs> Fuck this, you know, like, why should I suffer? I've been doing a lot of things for her. She needs to be fucking my bitch, you know, she needs to be my bitch. She needs to do what I want because I was doing things for her just to be nice. So. She, she needs to kiss my feet and do whatever I want. <laughs> I don't want to deal with your fucking bullshit. <laughs> Fuck that. If anything, she only creates problems in my life, even if I want to be with her. Like what? I need to break up with my woman because of her, what? Right? <laughs> Fuck. I mean, I may consider doing that, but... If she would be acting differently, maybe, but... I mean, she's too much. <laughs> she's too fucking much. But other women, what? They're all fucked up, too. Especially here, they're all acting stupid and shit. <laughs> People are generally too much. They just fucking... Focusing on the wrong things. I just don't deal with I don't want to deal with the bullshit, you know I don't like the way people think about stuff in general. I don't agree with it So Oh, there's something wrong with you so you need to test you on whether you fucking retarded or not I would rather just like mind my business and deal with people who's just like, okay, this guy's a little bit weird. He can do what he knows what he's doing. I don't give a fuck, you know? Okay. He can talk when he's working. Okay, I'm not going to talk to him. Okay, he's weird. Okay. But no, people need to insult you. People need to fucking bitch at you. Like, get out of here. I don't want to deal with that shit. Especially from ungrateful people. <laughs> Being normal. <laughs> I'm seeing how normal people treat that bitch. Yeah, right. Oh, you're not normal, you need to kiss up to people. You need to be awkward with people. Get out of here. Why are you taking my freedoms away from me? Why can't you just like shut the fuck up, give me the job and let me do what I can? 
And if you don't want nothing to do, it'd be fine. I don't fucking care. I would rather put an effort into like keeping a job so I can be free from people. Not, you know, like people say, oh, if you have a problem with the job, you can't be cocky and arrogant because people are not going to like you. They want to kick you out, whatever. And you wonder why I hate everyone. Because I have, I have, I am forced to live my life the way how I don't want to live against my will. And also, I'm not asking for help. I'm asking for you to tolerate me as is. I don't care if you're going to help me or not. If you're going to make excuses for my behaviors, make a special rule for me on my terms, that's it. That's all I fucking want. And if I'm not getting it, fuck. I need to get a gun and shoot you in the fucking, that's it. Like, I have no other choice, you know. If I don't get my way with people, I need to punish them, right, if I can. I mean, yeah, if I punish people, I'm also going to get hurt because that's like the law of boomerang, you know. Like, you hurt somebody, I'm going to get it back, but which is fucked up. Because, you know, like, let's say, like other people, they have more sex and they have more money than I do. I shoot them, right? But they were better than me and I'm worse than them. So if I'm going to kill them, right, it's like, I'm, they, they're still getting less minuses than I do if the same thing's going to apply to me. So it's like I'm still going to be in the minus. I'm still going to be in the, on, on the, in the inferior bracket, really, you know. As crazy as it sounds, but it's just like the way I think about things. I'm still going to be like in the inferior bracket compared to these people who get more things out of life than I do, you know. And then they're telling me there's something wrong with me. I shouldn't be like this, like they're better than me. Because if they were actually worse than me, they wouldn't be out there judging me and saying, me, hey, look. You fucking weird. Oh, you're not developed. Why are you telling me I'm not developed? Because you think that you developed and I'm not. So you think that you're better than me. Okay, but if you're better than me, right? Why other guys is not doing shit for you? They only fuck you. And when I'm doing shit for you, you treat me like ungrateful bitch. You know, like, does that make you superior? Really? I hate these fucking neurotypical infidels. They're so full of shit. They're so full of shit. Everybody have problem with me. Okay, well. So now you're creating more problems by babying me. Thinking that something's gonna change. And it's not working. Why can't I just do the best I can with what I got and be myself? Why should I be like everybody else? Why should I be forced to be the way I don't want to be against my will? I even cannot do it anyway, so why are you forcing it on me? I mean, things are getting better with time, but still, like, I already wasted like four years of my life in fucking bullshit. I'm just fucking wasting my time. I'm not really enjoying my life. I'm throwing half of my thirties into the fucking trash can. I already threw half of my thirties in the fucking trash, as is. Completely like, taking like five years out of my life and throwing them into the fucking dumpster. I've been doing it for a while. And I'm not particularly happy about that, you know, throwing my life into the fucking trash. Anyway, swill, swill, swill. And now I'm at the point of my life where I, you know, I have to have kids and get married and all of that. And I'm like, well, I didn't really have a chance to enjoy it. And now what, you want me to commit to things when other people, they like enjoy that 20s, you know, 
had more sex than me, they had more fun with me, they've been with more people than I did. And I didn't have to worry about settling down. And now I feel like, you know, my clock is ticking. I mean, I'm okay, yeah, I guess I can wait. And that'd be this fucking creepy 50-year-old, fucking 20-year-old. But I just don't think that that's how I want to live my life. I want to be a healthy man being with woman my age. Because of that, I have to, like, really hurry up. Because I don't see myself being with, like, fucking 20-year-old, you know. There's no way, like, I can date woman that young. You know. So it's like... I'm looking at it like... I didn't have a chance to enjoy my life. I'm not gonna enjoy it. I don't see the way how I can enjoy my life and be myself and do whatever, you know, makes me happy. I just not seeing it, really. I'm just not seeing it. I have to deal with a bunch of BS. And my mom talking about, oh, you need to pray for Israel. You need to care about your people, this and that. I'm like, yeah. I'm a fucking black-pilled individual like Rainy Guide number one would say, Sigma male. I don't give a fuck about all these blue pill values. To me, that shit is just a bunch of BS. So... I just want to enjoy my life on my terms. I don't want to be like the follower. I know I'm not, probably not going to be a leader because in order to be a leader, you have to be normal, but which I cannot be because of the way I am, but hey, I just want to do what I want, and that's it. It's just like, live my life on my terms and be with people I like, and just like, you know, that's like what I want, but I'm not even getting that these days because I feel like I've been forced into living the life I don't want to live and dealing with the bullshit which doesn't even like apply or make sense to me, so. That's why I feel like I have to be constantly running away from people and places. So. Peace. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Shout out to all my subscribers. Yep.